notes so that they can write it down <laughs> to feed it to their news organizations. So I'm going to start with you, Andy, actually, and then I can finish with Justine. Just in 30 seconds, what around this is the most important message you would like to leave uh, with our public? Um, I'm really grateful that I can sit here today and be absolutely confident that the business I'm representing has taken this issue very seriously for a very long time. And we've made a lot of progress, but there's still a long way to go for all of us. And we do need to take hands on this issue and work together. It's not up to government, it's not up to corporate, it's not up to the individual, it's all of our joint responsibility. Okay, so Cindy, right? As said earlier on when I was opening up, uh, is that I have got to commend Unilever, the Department of Water, Coca-Cola for forming this triple P in making sure that we are active citizens in preserving water and water, using water effectively. Thank you very much indeed. And Spudnik with your new minister. <laughs> <laughs> um, from, from, from the point of view of the Department of Water and Sanitation, we appreciate all the joint efforts that we can ever do together. But for us, especially, we are encouraged by the efforts of corporate, and we believe that as long as we move together in the same direction, we can be able to achieve better. Thank you very much indeed. And Justine, you can speak for the both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, you know, water, water is life, water is life, and water is all of our responsibility. Um, Sunlight understands this, and we're just trying to convey it to South Africa that, that we each need to do our bit so that collectively we can, we can conserve our water for the future. Thank you very much indeed. A big hand, ladies and gentlemen, for our panelists. <laughs> uh, and just before we wrap, I'd like to call upon the Corporate Face and Sustainable Business Director at Unilever South Africa, uh, Shonda Passant, to just to say a few words in conclusion. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for Unilever, our members of the committee, and other guests who have taken time to join us this morning. Peter, I feel like I know you intimately. <laughs> First time I met him. <laughs> Thank you for hosting this morning and being here um, for us. Wonderful to have you. Wendy, we love the spirit in which you partner with us and we are pleased to be working together with you and Coca Cola to make this country a better place overall. Mum and what a privilege to have you with us this morning. Your granddad, our great uh, Nelson Mandela, I think is loved across the, uh, all people of the world for the impact he's had, um, not just on our society, but the globe overall. And certainly in my own life, um, unlikely that I would have even been here had it not been for that great soul. So we depend on you to continue that battle and to continue um, I'll fight again for a better country for all. Sputnik, I feel like I should speak bigger when I come to you. <laughs> but it is always uh, an imperative for corporates and government to work together. So much can be done if we do. And we so greatly appreciate um, commitment and the participation of your department here today. And uh, hopefully we'll continue to work together to make this project one that is really impactful for all of us. And then for the ladies behind uh, the Sunlight brand who really has thought uh, about this whole campaign and has made it happen and is going to be executing it, is the lovely brand manager, Justine, and we wish you well with your baby. <laughs> um, and we, we thank you for your commitment to the project. And Lerato, the woman behind the scene, you, speak, you all know her well. We love you, we love the work you do. And so I'd like to just say that Unilever really is committed to the United Nations Sustainable Goal Development 6, which talks about water and sanitation, and to have this available um, and managed in a way that is sustainable for more than um, 2.8 billion across the world, people who just do not have access to water. And so we look at water holistically from our supply chain in terms of farmers and irrigation and how we help them. 
we look too at our factories and um, every one of our plants are really looking at how we harvest water, leak preventages, um, condensation, everything that can possibly contribute to um, the, the full water agenda. We look at our products and it is our aspiration to halve its uh, use of water uh, with consumers by 2020. Um, so really working through every aspect of our business and working with consumers, uh, suppliers and shoppers to make sure that what is fast become the world's most um, scarce and valued resource uh, will be available for future generations. And I love that each of you talked about the responsibility of government and the responsibility of corporates. But in the end, it comes down to every single one of us as human beings and as individuals. And um, the very fact that you're in this room uh, shows that you understand the agenda and we're going to, again, depend on you to spread the word and spread the action. One of the key partnerships that we have as well is with the University of Rhodes with Dr. Tali Palmer and the Institute of Water Research, again, to look at action that can be taken for water. And I'm not sure that many of you know this, but since 2015, Unilever, with the Department of Envi Environmental Affairs, has planted one million trees by the end of October this year. Again, another um, uh, attempt to try and generate water in the atmosphere. So, ladies and gentlemen, we really want to thank you all for joining us this morning. And let us continue to strive to work together for a country that will be rich in water. And a special prayer every day for those in Cape Town. We thank you very much. All right. Um, I'm very embarrassed you know, actually, because I know that you told me in passing, but it's a shopman's birthday today, so happy birthday. And what you didn't know is that you share a birthday with Nelson Mandela's great great grandchild because uh, Delinka's grandchild's birthday today as well. So you share a birthday, it's very auspicious, I think. So happy birthday. And your daughter as well. Oh my goodness. Wow. Has anybody else got a birthday today? <laughs> All right, so that's where we're going to wrap it. Thanks very much, everybody. Um, hashtag Water Smart Nation. Every drop counts. Just spread the word. Let's just make it happen. And to make it a norm that we think about every drop, every time we open a tap, we think about what we do in that water. Go on and uh, spread the gospel. Thanks very much, everybody. Take care.